Hey guys, what's up? Mike Lock here. Thanks so much for tuning in to this video blog. In this video, I want to talk about the pros and cons of working with the website frameworks. For those of you who don't know what a framework is, frameworks are sites that are out there that are pre-built for you. Like WordPress is a is a framework. Um, uh, Twitter Bootstrap is a framework. Um, Joomla is a framework. There are also online hosted frameworks like Shopify.com for e-commerce. Also, a company called LightCMS.com has a cool frame hosted framework that allows you to build a website and e-commerce system uh, within their framework. So, frameworks are sites that are pre-built for you. Most of them have some sort of back end, some sort of like a database that's attached to it. Like WordPress has uh, a database that's attached to it, and it has a completely back end. Um, content management system that allows you to go in there and add post and edit pages and things like that so uh, uh, frameworks are awesome in that sense and um, the pros and cons of frameworks is that, that one frameworks are awesome they allow you to take an existing pre-built um, pre-built website template and then customize it and uh, go from there and take advantage of all the different things that the features that that particular framework has like WordPress has a million different plugins that you can use uh, Shopify.com being a, an online e-commerce um, framework allows you to easily get your store up and running okay so if you have you know uh, the need to add products to your website um, Shopify.com having a framework have the back-end abilities for you to go in there Add products and stuff like that and you don't have to build this on your own all you have to do is worry about changing your colors changing your logos and stuff like that and you can customize the site however you wish so frameworks are awesome again frameworks I love frameworks because my sites built on WordPress It's built on a framework I customize I customize it to the to to my liking but it is built on a framework to allow me to blog and and have dynamic content and all that stuff up and running so I love frameworks in fact People can make a living, they can make a million dollars just by focusing on a frameworks alone, okay? Um, and uh, frameworks are awesome. Now, the problem with frameworks is that it, it limits, it puts a damper or it limits your ability to learn C, uh, UI design, visual design, HTML and CSS from the ground up. Because with the emergence of frameworks, a lot of people today that are starting out in web design you tend to not start from ground zero and where you really should learn the basics of HTML and CSS, learn the basics of UI, visual design, learn the basics of UX um, and how to, what, where things should be placed and where, where buttons should go and all that stuff. That's what, that the, that's a problem that I see with frameworks. Like when I got started, there was no frameworks and so I had to learn basic HTML, I had to learn code, I had to use I was using a wig WYSIWYG when I first started and I would view source and see how things are placed on the screen and and what the code was so I became familiar with placing things and I became familiar with building UI design and and growing my UI design abilities whereas with frameworks today all that stuff is pre-built for you and what happens is a lot of people will take these frameworks and they won't be creative enough or they won't evolve from the basic default template that they give you and what you have, you have a, a collection of websites that look templatized and uh, they all look the same and there's no creativity going on there. The other problem with this, frameworks to me is something that is strictly a freelance thing. Meaning, if you're running your web design business, use frameworks. If you're building a shop for, uh, if you're building a website for the shop down the street, definitely put them on a WordPress blog because it has all the advantages that they need. When it comes to you trying to land a job in the corporate world, companies don't look or don't require a lot of times you to understand WordPress. That's like a bonus. For, for one, they don't probably use WordPress or they don't use a framework. All they look for are tight, are very good solid UI designers that they can work with their developers that uh, manages their website and they just need you to sort of build the front end or design the front end and understand the UX and all that stuff. So when it comes to me landing a job, let's say all the jobs that I've had, cars.com, 
with Thomson Reuters, Cars.com, Fox, Yahoo, CBS. My WordPress abilities um, really had no uh, had nothing to do with me landing the job there because they didn't need it. They just need they just wanted my visual UI design skills, and that's what they needed me for. So uh, there's two sites of thing. There's two things. Word, frameworks are great. Working with frameworks are great because also they have now responsive stuff and you can build stuff really quickly and easily and get stuff up running and they have, you take advantage of all the features, okay? But that's a freelance thing, that's a personal thing. That's for your personal blog for all that stuff. But when it comes to landing a job or understanding UI design, that's where frameworks are really not needed. You have to learn the basics of UI design. You should learn the basics of HTML and CSS. You should understand UX and the, and the importance of good user experiences and, and where you should be placing buttons and all those things and how all that stuff works. And don't really, don't really rely on WordPress and frameworks to do that for you. You should learn that on your own. So that's what I wanted to get out today. Just really talk about the pros and cons and get you to start thinking about the benefits of working with frameworks and also why you should understand to learn from the ground up and the importance of, of learning from the ground up. So, um, And also once you learn both, you understand um, things from the ground up and you have WordPress knowledge, uh, you can do many different things. You customize it and you can take over the world. So. And that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope that I sort of sparked some interest or sparked some things in your mind and get you to start thinking about this stuff and, uh, you know, keep learning. All right. So if you have any questions on the things that I talked about, definitely visit my website for more information. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for commenting on YouTube. Thanks for all the love I get there. And uh, visit my website for more information and uh, stay in touch. We'll talk soon, guys. Thanks.